Hey guys, so I have a few bits that I got from Poundland that I thought I'd share because you know YouTube needs another Poundland haul, doesn't it? <laughs> um, there is so many nice Halloween bits in Poundland at the moment and I think in this vlog I'm going to be sort of getting ready for Halloween or we celebrate it as sewing but you know tomato tomato however you celebrate it. Um, yeah, so let me spin you around and show you what I got. So I am hiding out in this room because Ollie's already off school and I don't want him to see some of the bits. But firstly, I picked up this bit of love. It's so cute. My first Halloween, £1.50. I do have an orange tutu, so I'm sure she'll look so precious in this. But this isn't going to be like her main Halloween outfit. You see, I'm going to use her. I absolutely am. It used to be me and Danny. I dragged him along for my own means and done, you know couple dress up but now i have a daughter we're gonna go with that this year i'm thinking i'm gonna do cruella and a dalmatian so the wig, cruella wigs are actually quite expensive so this was two pounds and it's just a white wig and i'm gonna try and dye half of this black this is obviously um a cheap synthetic wig so i'm not sure how to take the color but we can but try and then i got some black acrylic paper so i can cut it into circles and put it over like a white grow or something and make her look super cute and i'm thinking i'm gonna step forward with this because we can just keep going with the disney she can be sleeping beauty and i can be the evil queen um i can be maleficent and and she can be aurora and i'll be the villain and she'll be the princess every single time <laughs> that's my plan i picked up this cage i love it i'm gonna put it down at the bottom of the garden in my nook um yeah with like a plant in it or something like that i think that'd really be lovely and then i just got a whole load of treats and sweets and stuff like that for the boys obviously ella can't have this yet i did get her a teddy a disney teddy of you know the nightmare before christmas the dog i did get her that but do you think i can find it now no it's somewhere cameron won't be interested in the toys but he will want the sweets also in poundland they've got their christmas bits in i've got a couple of bits my fairy garden but what i found really really cool these for stocking fillers gloves that you can touch the screen i got this for liam for his wallet and then this for cameron for his keys great little stocking fillers they've got loads of little things like that in. so i probably should have shared before i started really but that's just like me to dye this synthetic wig black what i've done is I've taken some pure alcohol and put it in a little spray bottle, took apart a couple of Sharpies and like mix that in together and now I'm just spraying it. See this one? I went into the attic and got as much down as I could. Honestly, my attic is a state. Also, I have so much Halloween stuff up there. Um, I do really need to go through it, but that's going to be another day. I actually have two of these terracotta pumpkins, but I could only find the one. I have this massive cauldron, and um, I'm thinking rather than put that back up in the attic when I when I'm done, I'm going to use that as a planter in the garden because I need to have that in my life <laughs> all year round and not just for this time of year. So yeah, I've got the the kids' little cauldrons out got all these bits another problem we're going to have is i need to put these things where ella's not going to grab them because she's of that age you know which i'm also going to have that problem at christmas with my christmas tree <laughs> she's at a grabby age so everything in my front room like all my decor is going higher and higher and higher to get away from it so ollie just pulls the telly because we've got um halloween dvds on the go as well i may get danny to go up in the attic and pull some more stuff down it just depends what i can get out of all this stuff um and cameron's at work and ella's sleeping in case you wonder where my two kids are so it's just me liam and ollie that's going to be decorating today although me and liam can go in the attic liam's a whiz up and down that attic. when i got this stuff liam was out so it was just me and trying to carry stuff down on your own is actually really, really hard. I don't know how Danny does it. So I've got a load of these. Ollie, what do you think about putting these out the front? Because I think if we decorate out the front more, then it gives us that spooky vibe. 
Well, we ain't got to worry about Ella grabbing it off. What does that remind me of? Um, yeah, Hotel Transylvania. Yeah, Hotel Transylvania. They've got, they've got that. And for alarm clock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we can put that up there. Yeah. That's where it usually goes. These cups. I should probably chuck them, in it. Yeah, they've grown out of these now, really. I'll clean them up and see if they're any decent. If I can clean them up well, I can put them in the charity shop bag. That's it, that's it. It doesn't have to be the whole way in, darling. Yeah. Where do the arms go then? Where are the arms going? <laughs> that looks really good. Go on then, go get the other bits. I had to go to four different supermarkets to get pumpkins. But yay, I managed it pretty much everywhere. Um, I went Iceland's, I went Asda, I went Sainsbury's, and I went to Lidl to try and find pumpkins. Gone, everything is gone. Even a lot of the Halloween stuff is highly picked over. I did get this Iceland spiderweb cheesecake. I saw online there was loads and loads of Halloween type food um, in Iceland's, but nope, not in my close this one i'm gonna venture out and see if i can't find some other bits but how cute is that oh i did my nails halloweeny also it's the balance between light and dark i think which considering that the autumn equinox falls on the 31st this year that's pretty cool i think pick up some balloons ideally i wanted black balloons i looked online and asda had them but when i went into the shop i've actually been to two asdas and they didn't have any i just got silver um, you can't see through them and I'm planning on having a fun game with the kids I know Ollie will participate and Liam he may he may participate Cameron's got no chance I love to do things with the kids I just want to give them positive memories and as much as I don't know it's been around as much as I have my own spiritual things that I do around this time of the year that's for me alone but as for me and the kids I like to have those fun things that they're gonna remember when they get older and how they choose to celebrate when they're older is their business. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of fun. I like to do all the fun things with them. Size of this skull. I'm gonna get Danny to attach this to the front of our house above the fence. He's really creepy. My big cauldron. Right, so this is decorating part two. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've got so much, it's a joke. With them are both dressing up. So there's lots of things that you've all grown out of that need to go. I love this. I need a new one with Ella in it though. Look how gorgeous that is. 2013. Look. They used to be so small. Don't mind me. I've got Olaplex on my hair. Ollie is the only one that um, finished his pumpkin. What is this, Oz? Um, um, cupcake from FNAF. Right, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But yeah, it looks cool when it's uh, lit up at night. This bit glows, doesn't it, Oz? Yeah. yeah. The other boys, they need to get to theirs. They did half of it, they emptied it, but they need, that's as far as they got. Cameron was tired after he got home from work yesterday and then he said, oh, I'll finish it tomorrow night when he gets in from work. And then Liam's like, yeah, I'll do the same. So this is like to be continued. So pumpkin carving yesterday. Today we are making the pumpkin, pumpkin patch biscuits. So I'm just gonna try and do something fun with them each day. You're doing well there. Thank you. Nice. That's it. 
give them a little room to grow, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I love this time of the evening. The sun is just about to set and the sky just has that iridescent quality about it. So I'm gonna harvest some of my honeysuckle. Some of this has died and I just haven't got around to pulling it down. But the way the wood grows, it like spirals up. I love it, I love it so much. So I'm gonna cut some off and um, yeah, I'm gonna use it for a little project. Make some gifts out of it. But I want a nice piece. I want a nice spirally piece. I'm gonna cut it here. And I'm gonna cut it here. So I'm just gonna take off these side shoots. Isn't that cool how it grows around? So I'm going to take away all this flaky bark from the outside. And you can make anything. You can make wands, you can make little broomsticks. There's so much you can do with just like a little bit of wood, right? So I didn't record it because I'm in my pyjamas, <laughs> just watching telly. Um, that little bit of honeysuckle that I cut from my honeysuckle plant. I turned it into a little mini broom. It's actually the third one I've made. I have one above my door and then I made one for Sherry to put above her door. So this is my third one. I'm going to give this to somebody else. Having a little broom above your door is said to sweep away negativity. And honeysuckle is said to increase luck and prosperity and love. And yeah, so I think it's, I think it's really mega cute. Isn't it amazing how much my hair's faded? Considering the blues didn't show up as much in the start, they hold on much longer than the other colours. And the purples and the pinks were more bright, but they're the first to wash out. I've only washed my hair about three or four times, but it needs redoing already. So I am gonna do my balloons. I really wanted black balloons, but I couldn't get hold of them, so I'm gonna use these silver ones so I've got three fibers because I want to be fair and then three bits of paper that say trick so if they shake the balloons and stuff they're not going to know what they're getting same I've got three two pound coins and three bits of slate so again they won't know and then just three lollies because I have that amount of balloons I would love to do like get this on a massive scale and just have like balloons of confetti and different things but um this is what we do so you can't see through it and you don't know what's in there so a couple of the balloons ended up having to be blue because they popped so I went from blowing up really, really large to quite small. Do you two want to be a part of this game? Or not really? Mm. Not really? Not really? Okay. Well, Ollie, this is the game. Alright? Pop the balloons and see what's inside. Now remember, boys, you've got to be in it to win it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why? You're smirking there, Liam. You're smirking. Yes, I'm right. You're smirking too. Oh my gosh, you come to me, Robbers. In case you, in case you change your mind and you wanna, and you wanna get involved. Your marks, cause it go. Oh, what was in it? <gasps> Two pounds. Oh, well oh. done. You have to get up. You have to get up. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Oh. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Get okay. Shoes. <laughs> what did you get? Trick. Trick. You got a trick. Oh, dear. Oh, baby. Well, put you down with a bot This is too nice. Are you getting shoes on? Get get shoes on. <laughs> I was, do you want to get shoes no, on? No, I can down there. Okay, well, we're going to stop for a minute. Oh, oh baby. Because I don't want my oh, noise. Bless. Oh. <laughs> You've got two pounds, you lucky boy. Did you pop that one? What did you get in that one? Oh. 
done. So far, you've got two rocks and two pounds. Do you know what's really funny? What? When Ollie got two pounds, he was like, I'm getting it. <laughs> 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 oh, baby, what you get? Not back when you were like, yeah, no, I ain't playing two pound for one Zach. You're like, hang on a minute, pass me the balloon. And then you're still trying to like, I'm just going to sit here casually and try to squeeze the balloon. You're hilarious. <laughs> Nuts. Get set, go. Five or five. Five or five. this high or above because of Ella. But I did my decorate. altar space. I changed it up a little. Like I put the skulls in there and I put a tablecloth down to make it. Oh, and I changed my card. I changed that up with the seasons. Um, you might see underneath the skull there's a bit of paper. On this side I have my maternal ancestor names underneath that and here my paternal ancestor names i actually need like um a father figure something here to represent that but that's what that paper is let me talk a bit more about that. i don't often talk about sort of my spiritual beliefs and stuff like that on my channel i kind of just skirt around the edges so if you're in the know you're in the know and you'll you'll get it but if you're not I just don't want to preach or put my beliefs out on anybody else because that's just not me. Um, but I did put a picture of my altar oh, up on Instagram and I was asked about it and stuff like that. So on my paternal side of my altar, the name that I have under the skull is just a surname. And that is the surname of who now, me and my brother, since doing our DNA and stuff and looking into it, we believe is our paternal grandfather. Um, and I mean DNA doesn't lie people lie paperwork lies DNA does not lie the name of the person I don't want to say who it is but the name of the person that me and my brother thought was our paternal grandfather has been proven not to be and I really want to find out more information about you know my family tree and stuff but everyone that I reach out to on the ancestry like website they know nothing they absolutely know nothing. There is somebody who I am so closely linked to, like they're third on my list, and they have this surname, 
and um, I believe they know something because I've been sending them messages and they just leave me on read. Like they read my messages, but they don't get back to me. So I've got, a, you know, you've got a feeling they know something. So I need help with that. So at this time, I'm sort of, because it's, it's the time of ancestors and the people that have passed. No one that's living can tell me anything. So I'm reaching on beyond and I'm going to try and get information that way. I know to some of you may think I'm absolutely do lally, that's absolutely fine. Even my own husband thinks I'm do lally. <laughs> it's fine if you think I am too. Putting it out into the universe, putting out that intention and that question of, I wanna know the truth, I wanna know my ancestry. This is a good time of year to be doing that. So that is what's under that skull. So I just run out into the garden and grab this from my fairy garden because I realized this will be a perfect representation of my paternal side. I'm just gonna place that there. If it will stay. There we go. The lighting is really, really bad. I do apologize, but it's obviously late at night and I'm hiding out in this room because the kids are next door watching telly. So if you hear commotion, that's what's going on there. So tomorrow is the 31st and I need to get the kids' cauldrons done. As you can see, I found Ella's telly. Isn't that cute? I think for her first Halloween. I think that's a, a lovely little a little gift for her. So yeah, yesterday I didn't record. Um, we had quite a busy day yesterday. I did my hair. I topped the colour up. You can't really see because it is dark. But it's very purple and it turned my nail varnish purple. So my Corella Deville nails are no longer. Which I'm not going to have time to redo them, which is a shame. Also yesterday we had our sewing meal. We had our sort of family meal because Danny's working over the weekend. I wanted to have our sort of family meal where we all sit at the table and have something a bit more special. I wanted to do that yesterday and I'll encircle it because I took a picture of how I dressed the table and it did look really, really nice if I do say so myself. And then after we had our meal, we had friends over and we had such a laugh. We was in the garden actually the whole time, which is surprising because it's a bit on the cold side, but we were playing pool, we were having drinks, we were having snacks. It was just so much fun. And you know my cauldron, my friend Paul, he sat on it and broke it. <laughs> I was like, life lesson, don't sit on a witch's gold ring, you know? He's like, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. We'll see, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm just trying to get sorted for tomorrow, as well as finding the teddy. I also found, which I totally forgot that I had until I was looking through Ella's bits, I have a spotty dress. And I remember, I remember now, my mum gave me this, thinking that's what I was gonna do Corella Deville. Honestly, my brain at the moment. So rather than get a grow and create spots, she's gonna wear this. But I don't have any ears, so Danny, bless his heart, made <laughs> some ears out of a sleep suit that was also spotty. How funny is he? She won't keep her hat on for like any longer than 10 seconds, but I'm gonna try really, really hard to get a really cute photo of her. But if I don't, I don't. So I went to Aldi's and picked up some peppers so that I could carve out little pumpkin faces in them and then I'm gonna do like lamb mints and rice and that kind of thing just like have stuffed peppers with cheese on top so me and the kids can have a nice little meal just us. Ollie has asked to go trick or treating um, so we'll definitely be doing that, it'll be fun. I'll drive around and see if I can't find an area that is really decorated because then we might have a bit of luck because when I've previously done it any house that you go to that is decorated they, they tend to be the houses that are actually out trick-or-treating themselves because previous years no one even opens the door and it's so disheartening for kids when they all get dressed up and then no one answers the door. That's kind of why I started doing Halloween parties so they could have those fun experiences and as much fun as it is and I was asked to do one this year but I really weren't feeling up to it. I just wanted to have a couple of friends around and keep it sort of low-key. No matter how we celebrate, I love giving the kids a cauldron of treats so even if they're not successful at trick-or-treating tomorrow, they're still gonna have loads of goodies. I've got Ella some buttons as well. I made these last year, or the year before. Can't remember now. That's Ollie's one. It's a Poundland cup, 
and then I've got a porcelain pen and then you draw whatever you want on it, put it in the oven, bake it and then it, it's on there. Isn't that fun? And to go with their little cups, I picked these up from Aldi's. So you fill this with nice hot milk, pop this in and you've got hot chocolate. So I'll each have one of them, apart from Ella obviously. I, I have got one of these for Ella, but she's not of an age where I'm not going to be using it just yet, do you know what I mean? She can just have a little bit of chocolate milk in her bowl. How funny that Cameron went to work, but before he went to work, he stole a couple of bits out of his uh, gold ring. <laughs> Can you see the bits? He, he stole two eyes and that. <laughs> so that is Liam's. Thank you. You're welcome. Sir. Ollie's. Thank you. And your photo, baby! Bless Ella is really unsure of me. And your bubby. She keeps looking at me really funny. Where do we be? Hello. <laughs> Maybe it's the eyebrows. Should we put your little hattie on? Ready? What's this? With your little spotty dress. Who's <laughs> that, baby? She's like, I'm not even looking at you. I don't know who you are. You sound like my mummy, but you don't look like her. She looks so worried. Oh, baby! The boys have masks, but they're undecided whether to wear them. Mm. Whoa. Hey, no, baby! She's like, what on earth is going on? Yeah, I, I was thinking she was saying. She's looking at me like, who are you? So it's the next day, and actually, I was so surprised at how much Ollie got. Every time we've gone trick-or-treating before, we've never got that amount, have we, Liam? Mm -hmm. No. So, Liam and Cameron would not knock on a single door because, you know, they're far too old for that. But they did want Ollie to share out the sweets at the end of it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so, this was a bit of a fun video. I haven't done a video like this in a long time where I've included the kids so much, but that's just gotta go, gotta go. Gotta. She's having a she's having her say. But that's the week, isn't it? When it's Halloween week, the kids are gonna be having lots of fun and very involved with what we're doing. <laughs> anyway, I'll end this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.